Hello everybody, how's it going? I am at the Cinemark right now and today I am going to go and watch Beast. Um, so Beast, from what I've heard, um, it stars Idris Elba from The Suicide Squad and Zootopia. And the movie, from what I understand, is supposed to be Jaws but with lions. Um, I love Idris Elba. Um, I know he doesn't really do a lot as far as main character movies go, but I'm hoping this will be a good movie from him because I've heard mixed things, but... You know, the movie could be good or it could be bad. So, just like always, um, if, um, sorry, Ooh, that was a little slippy there. Um, if, um, after, the, and once I get done with this movie, I'll, first I'll pause, then I'll come back, and I'll give you all my thoughts on the movie, talk a little bit about it. Uh, just want to let you guys know, uh, my Adventure Time editorial is out, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's on the channel, and I may put a link in the description. So, this is LTM signing out, I'll, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back from the movie. Um, so, Beast is technically um, an, 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 a survival thriller about Idris Elba, who has these two daughters, and they're on vacation. They didn't really say they were on vacation or if they just live there now. But basically, they go to Africa, and then there's the signs of this giant lion that's going to eat, that's been eating a lot of villages and stuff, and Idris Elba and the two daughters end up getting stranded, so it's up to Idris Elba to protect themselves while also trying, trying to survive this ginormous lion. And that's really about it, short for an hour and 33 minutes. So, I've heard a lot of mixed things. Um, what, where am I at? I'm kind of in the positive and the negative at the same time. Well, actually, mostly more of the positive because this movie was, really wasn't that bad. I think that because this movie just only has one major problem, or actually two major problems, but one, one of those problems actually kind of does affect the movie itself. But first, the, the first problem with the movie was the running time, which is only an hour and 33 minutes. Wish it would have lasted a little bit longer. Maybe had a few more scenes. Um, maybe had some more action, maybe. But the biggest problem with this movie was uh, Idris Elba's character. He's not bad. It's just I think maybe it was a, was a little too weak. You could have done a little bit more with uh, the relationship between him and the poacher, or uh, and he, and a little bit, a little bit more development with his daughters, which wasn't really that interesting to be honest. And in, in, in some scenes, there's a few scenes where it involves him and his wife, and a lot of these flash flashy weird dream sequences are pretty weird to come out of nowhere and they just seem out of place but with that said i really liked a lot of everything else africa looks beautiful the cinematography looks great um the style looks very nice africa is beautiful the the acting is very well done and the dialogue is solid some of the characters um Although you don't, are, although they're not very well developed, or or some of them are not very that interesting, they try. They're trying their best. Um, I do like um, the soundtrack. The music score is very well done. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of Africa, and Africa is a place where I've always wanted to visit, and it looks amazing. Um, I did like the um, the storyline, even if it feels like they're ripping off movies like Jaws or Grizzly, which I get a Grizzly vibe from this movie. Uh, the, the Grizzly from, the, from uh, it's, a, it's like a Jaws ripoff, but with a bear. And basically, um, yeah, it's basically Jaws meets Grizzly, but with a lion. Just add a lion in there. One of my friends said it was Lion King gone mad. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him, though. So, not really much to say about um, Beast, other than it is just a typical survival adventure film. If you like shark or any sort of animal pre animal prehistoric adventure survival thrillers, you'll get into Beast. Um, I don't recommend it for everyone, but I do at least say give it a chance. Um, I give Beast a seven out of 10, kind of the same rating as the last movie I saw. It's not great, but at the same time, it's not awful either. If it wasn't for those two problems, Beast could have been a really fun survival film. Probably one of the best horror films, or thriller films I've seen this year, but I don't know. So that's Beast for you guys. Um, please subscribe, comment below, let me know. This is LTM signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.